Hello everyone, welcome to Teachopedia. In today's video, we will be exploring another natural language processing library called SPACI. SPACI is an easy to use natural language processing library which can hold large amount of text data. It can be used to build information extraction or natural language understanding systems. We use this library. We also we can also use this library for task like tokenization in which we parse large amount of text data into smaller chunks. Lemmatization, which is a process of grouping together the inflected forms of a word so they can be analyzed as a single word or item. Entity recognition, which is also called named entity recognition, which is a subtask of information extraction that seeks to locate and classify named entities mentioned in unstructured text into predefined categories such as person names, organizations, locations, etc. And then comes parsing, which is how two texts or two sentences are similar to each other. For the installation part, use this command pip install spacey to install this library. Now we will jump straight to coding. So this will be the notebook which we are using for today's lesson. First of all, install spacey library using this command. After this, install the or download the corpus of this library using this command. You can use command prompt of Windows or Anaconda prompt to download and install this library and this corpus like this. You can open using new and then go to the terminal. It will open this type of interface and you can type your commands. After this, import spacey library and pandas in which we will write our text data and save it as excel or csv format then after that uh, we will import and run this cell to import this library after this spacey dot version will be will give us the current version of this library and in the end we will import the display of spacey to help in visualization and understanding how our data is mapped and how our words are linked with each other and low in the end load our corpus as well so this is the test sentence which i have used for this notebook we will just run this and after this we will use the test sentence and save it in an object of nlp and we will print its type and it will give us spacey dot tokens because it saved in a token format and then we will split that text and we will get all the words which are present in this sentence so after this we traverse in this sentence and take only the strings of the strings of this sentence so this auth method returns a string representation of the token rather than a spacey token object so this is a spacey token object and this is a string representation of that okay and this will give us only those letters or those words which are not punctuation or empty spaces we can use this one liner for loop as well after this we will print the name entities and how words are linked together and this name entities give us what of what word represent what thing like Pakistan is a country 1947 is a date Karachi this the this library named Karachi is a person 
but uh, Karachi is a city and Islamabad termed as the GPE which is used for countries representing countries so after this uh, we will extract the part of speech tagging and we will display our sentences like this so in this in this thing uh, we get to know that what Pakistan denotes like is it a verb or a pronoun or or what so and how words are linked together so as you can see it first parses thus uh, the whole sentence into multiple sentences and for each sentence it basically gave us a map overview of how words are related to each other and what is the particular word tag or part of speech tag is so after this we will traverse in this sentence and print only those words which are represented as an entity like a date or um, a country etc so it so it uh, it actually neglects all these things like are or few major like things and only print Pakistan as a GP or entity Islamabad or 1947 as a date after this uh, we will lemmatize and find the root words of every word so when I run this sentence I get the lemma of each word like got lemma word is get and few represent a few so th this doesn't change and our Islamic word is P so through this we can find out what are its lemma word and we can actually change that word to its lemma form so in the end we will convert uh, our text into a representation of different columns in which for each word we will print its lemma its pause text its dependency with other words and whether it's a stop word or not so it turns out that in is a stop word and is a stop word are of few the these are some stop words which are used in this sentences and also what are the punctuation used in the sentence so comma spaces and uh, full stop these are punctuation which are marked as punctuation so in the end we will export this thing into an excel file format and save it in a tokens data excel file so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this tutorial about spacey library if you have any queries do let me know thank you so much